your book, Ecosoma, Pain and Joy in Speculative Performance Encounters. Please describe for our listener what Ecosoma is. Ecosoma is so many things, but one of the core things that I try to capture in Ecosoma is the deliciousness of being involved in the world. So in Ecosoma, I'm trying to pay attention to the soma. You know, this is a word that many of us don't use on a regular basis. It's a a feeling inside ourselves. The way that we have sensations that we can't necessarily immediately verbalize, you know, the kind of somatic experience of the world. And then there's the word eco, you know, this environment, the inworldedness, the fact that we're surrounded by world. And putting those two together is really exciting to me because there always stays a gap. You know, here's eco and here's soma. I'm not just talking about ecosomatics. I'm not talking about one new word. I'm talking about eco, soma. These two concepts are in play with one another. And I'll give you an example. Right next to me here is a very comfortable blanket. It's very soft, the kind of blankets that probably many of us have around our houses. I can lean into this blanket and I can feel it against my skin. I can wrap myself in it. I can feel its warmth. At the same time, also aware that this blanket comes from something that's quite alien to me. The blanket that I'm holding is in the end a plastic blanket, right? These very comfy fleece blankets are plastic. They come from from material, organic material that's been under deep, deep pressure for so many years, for eons of years, and then got transformed into oil and then got transformed into plastics. You know, all these mechanisms are interesting to think about as I'm experiencing the comfort of the blanket. I'm also thinking about what happens when you wash this blanket. And when you wash that blanket, these little fibers come out of fleece. We can try to capture as in our washing machines, but they're hard to capture. And they will go down into the waterways and they will um, infest fish. So as I am holding this blanket, I'm experiencing this comfort. I'm thinking about the fish. I'm thinking about the labor practices that bring this blanket to me, that make these blankets so affordable. I think about the materials where the blanket comes from. All of that together is for me an ecosoma inquiry. Not to alienate me from the blanket, right? That's that's not really quite the point, but to be aware of what it means to be comfortable in the world and give thanks, you know, for that moment. That's also a really important part for me of this, you know, that we we take the joy, we take the pain, but it also means that we're just honoring where we are and what is affordable to us. You know, I, I'm a disabled woman, like many disabled people don't have the economic means to do exactly as they wish with their consumer choices. So it means also being aware of the costs of living and giving grace, thanks, and joy into that interdependent web. Thank you for helping me out with that thought, because in my mind, I was immediately going to guilt, Mm -hmm. feel guilty for having these things and for loving the fuzzy blankets at my home, but feeling guilty for what it is doing. But when I give thanks, I appreciate it more, and I feel as if I would take care of it more. 